All right, we're going to graph uh, solving uh, inequalities using addition and subtraction. This is Algebra 1, page 356 in your book. So if you would go to page 356. Hold on, let me turn my pen on. Page 356. So here we go. Our, our vocabulary graph of an inequality. An inequality is like this. X is greater than 3. A graph of an inequality consists of putting that number on a number line. So it's a little bit easier graph than what we've been graphing. And then um, if it's greater than 3, all the numbers going to the right. So that right there would be a graph of that inequality. If it happened to have the equal to part on there, then you would color these in. So that is uh, x is greater than or equal to 3. Uh, equivalent inequalities are inequalities that have the same value, that means they're equal to each other, and I forgot one, which was inequality. So I'm going to add that word here. An inequality is a less than, a less than or equal to, a greater than, or a greater than or equal to. And you remember the equal to is represented with half of the equal sign with the line under it. And then a solution of the inequality, uh, which I think we've done these, you kind of go way, go back. A solution of the inequality is just the answer for the unknown, the answer for the inequality, whatever makes the uh, inequality work. And the thing about an inequality is sometimes there can be more than one solution, or there is more than one solution more than one solution. It's not like an equal sign where there's just one solution and one solution only. Okay, so let's do some of these. So what we do first, example number one, write and graph an inequality. The highest temperature recorded in the United States was 132 degrees Fahrenheit at Death Valley, California in 1913. Use only this fact to write and graph an inequality that describes the temperatures in the United States. So if that's the highest temperature, that means everything else in the United States has to be less than that. So I would just put X is less than, and since Death Valley's in the United States, um, it would be less than or equal to 134 degrees. Now to graph that, um, the thing with that, you don't have to start your graph at zero. So we're at 134, so let's go 130, 131, 132, 133. 134, I'm going to circle the 134, color it in, and everything less than that represents the temperatures in the United States. So let's see if we're right. Inequality is, and they use T instead, so I used X, that's all right, 134 degrees, and we agree. So write an inequality represented by the graph. So this one right here is that starts at, uh, so I just put an X, and then you put the number 6.5, and then you decide is it greater than? It's, since it's going to the right, they are getting bigger. And since it's not colored in, it is not equal to. So x is greater than negative 6.5. All of them greater than that. Okay, so just looking at it, this one, put your x and your 4. You just start, you know there's going to be an x, and you know we're going to put a 4. Since it's going smaller, it's going to be less than. And since it's colored in, it's going to be equal to. <laughs> so x is less than or equal to 4. And yes. Okay. So the guy to practice the lowest temperature recorded in the Antarctica was a negative 129 degrees Fahrenheit at the Russian Volstek station in, in 1983. Use only this fact to write and graph an inequality that describes the temperatures in the Antarctica. So that's the lowest. So that means everything else has to be bigger than that, warmer than that. So um, x is, in this case, going to be um, greater than, it won't get any colder, greater than or equal to negative 129 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and then our graph would be, there's negative 130, there's negative 129. We'll put a couple of them, we'll circle it, color it in, and then everything else is going to go bigger than that. So let's see. Yep. Write an inequality represented by the graph. So I go x and 8 
less than because it's going to the left and it's not colored in so it's just x is less than 8. That's it. So that's easy, isn't it? x negative 2.5 greater than because it's going bigger and it's equal to because it's colored in. All right, so a key concept box. I'm in the middle of page 357. It says addition property of inequality. And basically, I know it looks kind of crazy there in the algebra part. It says adding the same number to each side of an inequality produces an inequivalent inequality. Basically, it's the same thing. You can add. It, 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 it's like equations. If you add 3 to one side, you have to add 3 to the other. That's what they're saying here. If you add 3 to one side of an inequality, you have to add 3 to the other side. If you take off 5, you have to take off 5 on the other side. So again, on inequalities, even though they're not equations, you have to treat both sides equal. So that's what they're saying right here. So if you look at this, it says solve x minus 5 is greater than negative 3.5. So we do it, ju we pretend, just pretend like this is an, is an equal sign. Just forget it's there and get this letter by itself. So you're going to add 5 to this side. You're going to add 5 to this side. Those cancel out. x is greater than negative 2.5, positive 2.5. Sorry, the positives are bigger. 5 and negative 3.5, and actually it's going to be 1.5 now that I think about it. Negative 1 point, or x, <laughs> x is greater than 1.5. So we go 0, 1, 2, 1.5 is right here. We don't color it in because there's not an equal to, and we go that way. And that's it. It's just solving the same things that we've been doing, solving equations, and then graphing it. But the, and then obviously they're not equations. They have inequalities in them. So then they're checking it, and they're just putting a number in that is um, fits the answer, and it works. Okay, so we'll do that with this one. You add 9 to both sides because you want the x by itself. The 9's cancel out. x is less than or equal to 12. So you go 10, 11, 12, 13. You circle it and color it in because it's equal to and less than is this way. Now, to check our work, let's just pick a number that's in there. 10 is less than 12, so let's try it. 10 minus 9 is 1. Is 1 less than or equal to 3? Yes. So we know that that works. And this is that addition property that was in the key concept. To solve it, we're going to add 9.2 to both sides. Those cancel out. P is less than 4.2. And then you would graph it. 3, 4, 5. 4.2 is about right here. And less than goes that way. And it works. And even with the letter on the right side, you can add a half to this side. Add one half. A negative one plus a half is negative one half is greater than or equal to m. And I'm trying to remember. I think we've probably solved inequalities before. This is where I'm going to peel it. So I peel it and flip the sign and get negative one half. I'll have to look when I'm done with this podcast to see when what chapter we did that in. So, because I like the letter on the left, 0, 1, I got to go this way, 1, negative a half is right here, and less than, so it would go that way. And we did the same thing. Okay, so now the subtraction property of inequality is exactly like the addition property, except it's telling you can minus the same thing from both sides. That's all it's saying. So take a second and write this, write this down, and then we'll do the example that pertains to it. So on this one, you find the side with the letter, and you see that's x plus 7. So what we just did in that key concept says we can subtract the same thing from both sides. So it cancels out. 2 greater than or equal to x, and then I don't like to do that, so I'm going to peel it. And then I'm going to graph it. 0, 1, 2, 3, circle at the 2, color it in, less than. That's it. It's just kind of... The only thing we're adding in is, is graphing our answer there. There we go. Example number five, you're checking a bag at an airport. Bags can weigh no more than 50 pounds. Your bag weighs 16.8 pounds. Find the possible weights W in pounds that you can add to the bag. So your bag, 
16.8 plus some other weight can't be, has to be less than or equal to 50. All right, so we would minus 16.8 from this side, minus 16.8 from this side. Your bag you can add, borrow, Thirty-three point two pounds. It's got to be less than or equal to thirty-three point two pounds. And there wrote the same thing, solved it same way, I believe. Yep. All right. So example. Let's see. Y plus five point five. So you do minus five point five from both sides. Y has to be greater than what's left is just 0 0.5. 0, 1, circle the 0.5, greater than. Well, that's a pretty slow graph, isn't it? In example 5, suppose your bag weighs 29.1 pounds. Find the possible weight. So instead of, we'll just put the 29.1 plus W has got to be less than or equal to 50. Subtract 29.1. going to be 8, 0, you can put in W has to be less than or equal to 20.8 pounds. Ooh, you guys, 10 minus 1 is 9. Ay, ay, ay. All right. I think um, that's it. It's very important that you show your work again. Um, show the equation, write it out, or the inequality, excuse me. Show what you do to both sides, and then make sure you graph if it asks you to graph them. And that's it. We'll see you next time.